In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a one of your timers to be a 28 day buy aside timer. So from the main run screen hit set up run to get to the menu. Go into timers. Select one of your timers. Now you see this timer comes factory set up as a pulse timer. So we want to change that first to a 28 day timer before we do any programming. So we'll go into timer type change it from pulse to 28 day and hit enter and now you see we've got a new menu here so the, the 28 day timers on the Megatron line of controllers have four programs a piece that you can run so this is intended to be able to do if you've got multiple times during one day you wanted to run times you could or of just odd days and weeks uh, however you wanted to do it right now we'll stick to program one one of the most popular programming uh, options that we have if you go into program one this gives you your summary of how your timer is currently set up to make a change you'll want to go into setup and now you've got an option to change all those settings so option one is weeks you can change that to week one week two week three or week four odd weeks even weeks or every week I'm gonna select every week days now here's something a lot of people don't know you can program each individual day or we have pre-selected options of Monday Wednesday and Friday or Tuesday Thursday and Saturday or every day so we'll go Monday Wednesday and Friday the start time we're gonna start that at 0800 hours or 8 a.m. in the morning it is on a 24 hour clock so if you wanted to run in the afternoon make sure you use military time now my run time I want that to run for say 30 minutes Hit enter of course all these times are are up to you and in, in your chemical feed so don't take my settings for uh, for word and we have a pre-bleed option the pre-bleed lets you uh, start bleeding before the timer starts to get your conductivity down to a level that is safe so that when you add your chemical and it raises the conductivity it won't try to trigger the bleed line so we'll go ahead and set the pre-bleed for 10 minutes there's a minimum conductivity setting and that has to do with the pre-bleed so you can say I want to pre-bleed for 10 minutes or until I get down to 1400 or whatever setting you want you can have a feed lock which will let you lock out other timers on your system you also have a bleed lock feature which it lets you lock out your bleed during the time and then for a period after the time so if you want to lock out your bleed for your chemical feed on your 28 day timer you want to account for the feed time plus any time after that so we set our feed for 30 minutes I want to lock this out though for an hour and 30 minutes so as my chemical feeds that 30 minutes will be up and then after my chemical is finished feeding it will lock out for an additional hour you can have a flow lock so only with flow or with or without flow you can do flow only store one on the excess units which means that if you miss a time based on a no flow situation when you re get when you, your flow comes back it will make up one of those missed buy side times or you can just say only with flow and if I miss it because there was no flow I don't want it now as a part of the 28 day timer you if you have ORP control on your controller we can do an ORP interlock and what that means is you can if you're controlling 24 hours a day uh, with using ORP you can link this timer to your ORP relay and set a second set point so let's say uh, 24 hours a day normally you're keeping your ORP millivolt reading at 250 millivolts but three times a week you'd like to jump that up to 450 millivolts by interlocking this timer with your ORP during the times that you've set on this timer your ORP control will 
uh, revert to that second set point and essentially spike your ORP up for those couple of hours that you want it to uh, for your timer. Uh, so it's just a, a way to lock and, and control all the time and then still get a couple of spikes a week to, to help keep the kill.